Welcome to Shark Aero Company and our Slovak factory where we produce Shark airplanes. My name is Peter Hill, I'm in charge of sales and marketing and let me show you around. This is where we started uh, 30 years ago, producing carbon composite parts at that time for Diamond aircraft. These days we produce parts for our own aircraft called Shark and this is where the whole production of the aircraft starts. Altogether there are around 200 composite parts in our airplanes. All of them produced here. Perhaps this is one of the most complex parts that we produce in this section. It's a Kevlar cage that is glued inside of the carbon airframe of the airplane to protect the crew in case of any accident. Now we are in the rough assembly section of the shark production. Here the composite parts are glued together, fitted uh, and prepared for the next stage which is back there and it's the paint section. The aircraft is designed according to the European ultralight or microlight category. So it is very light indeed. When the aircraft is completed, it weighs around 350 kilograms or 770 pounds. Altogether nowadays, we produce three airplanes in the rough assembly per month. But we are aiming to get to four airplanes per month. Altogether, that will be about 50 airplanes per year. This is the final stage of production of Shark, the final assembly. Here all the components are put together, including the electrical systems and avionics, parachute and later on the engine. After that, we do the test flight and aircraft is ready for delivery. And by the way, quite a few of the parts used here are 3D printed. My name is uh, Vladimir Pekar, I am CEO of company Shark Aero and we are now in a room where we run the 3D printers. All our printers in company are Prusa printers. We are composite specialist company, so most of the process was to make composite parts. The smaller part and more complicated, it uh, takes time and for this part is absolutely best to use 3D printing. Today we are printing 100 parts which we then install to aircraft and I estimate we save maybe 100 work hours with this. All on this, on these plates uh, are parts we more or less install to aircraft. We don't print uh, parts which are primary structure and for instance uh, we have on aircraft uh, landing gear doors. I was fighting with this about 10 years and I solved it finally thanks to 3D printer. Mostly we work with uh, ABS because of uh, quite good uh, temperature resistance. It, it reached near 100 degrees uh, because aircraft is uh, exposed to the sun, sometimes canopy is closed and really temperatures can go quite high. Some parts which we have in uh, motor cooling we print with uh, nylon. Some small details are even with PDG and, and uh, PLA, but, but these are really details which are not, not in reality installed in aircraft. We are printing the grips on the control stick and the throttle. And in the past we, we produced it with uh, casting polyurethane to silicone molds. 
but it, it, it needs quite a lot of uh, labor, quite a lot of work, plus the, the silicon mold was, had limited life and it was very difficult to produce a new one. So, especially for these parts, I bought the laser printer. MK4 is uh, the new, we have it here maybe three weeks. To, really to use it uh, massively, we need to reslice our, our models. So I expect it will bring uh, new quality with first layer and uh, more user-friendly qualities. Yeah, in aircraft, uh, uh, most of the parts which we print uh, is not visible. They are hidden somewhere below instrument panel in the structure of aircraft, but, uh, but it's possible to see the, the grips on the control, control stick and on the throttle and just some small details in, in the interior is, is visible. Here we have uh, landing gear doors for aircraft. It took me maybe 10 years to, to solve all problems around. And uh, finally I was able to do it really thanks to 3D printing. Doors uh, give us about 10 km higher cruise speed on the aircraft. So, 3D printing we don't use only for the parts for serial aircraft, but we use it as well for some tools, uh, molds, uh, master models. This is one of the probably biggest work which we made on the, on the mold. This is a mold from, uh, for front fork. Uh, so this part was uh, printed in, uh, on, on, on printer. Uh, from PLA, then we uh, made a finish on it. Mold was uh, assembled. We produced to this mold first, uh, first masterpiece. And from this masterpiece, we finally produced a serial mold, which is composite and, and really hard enough for, for, for running serial production with uh, the metal inserts and so on and so on. This is the most famous shark we've produced so far. This is the one that Zara Rutherford, as the youngest woman in history, flew around the world solo, getting several Guinness World Records. For us, the key was not the PR around it, but the fact that it proved the reliability of the airplane to be able to fly everywhere in the world in any climate imaginable. It's an ideal tool for traveling uh, or for just flying for fun, because flying is a really addictive passion.